In phrase two, we have the verse starting off on an A5 power chord. Fifth string open, fourth string second fret, and third string second fret. To a G note on the sixth string third fret, give it a quick bend, then return to the A5. A5, G, A5. Palm mute a single open fifth string A. Then play a series of double notes on the third and fourth string. First is the third string four with the fourth string five. Drop down to the third string two with the fourth string four. And end on the third string open with the fourth string two. Each of these double note combinations make up a partial chord. Frets four and five are a partial G chord. Down to two and four for a partial F sharp minor chord. Down to open and two for a partial E minor chord. Be sure to mute the strings between each partial chord with the palm of your picking hand. So for the first part of the verse, we have A5, G, A5, a single palm muted A note, then a partial G, F sharp minor, E minor. A5, G, A5, palm muted A, partial G, F sharp minor, E minor. The second part of the verse uses the same chords, but with a slight variation for the timing. A5, G, A5 is the same. The open A to partial G is the same, but the F sharp minor to E minor is a quicker change. Here's the second half again. And the two parts play together. As this section of the song is repeated, several slight variations are made. Let's practice this basic structure, then we'll learn the variations. Bye. <laughs>